Yaris, if somebody told you that a building constructed 522 years ago is still standing, will you believe it? Well, our reporter Tobias Chanji found one in today's Adventure Diaries. Let's take a look at it. At Shela area on Mamangina Road, Malindi Town, stands the little-known Portuguese chapel that is also referred to as St. Francis Xavier Chapel, just about 100 meters from the ocean. This uh, chapel was built before St. Francis Xavier reached Malindi in 1542, and it's amongst the oldest church in tropical Africa. It is touched with Makuti and has a cross on top. It was built by Portuguese explorer Vasco da Gama in 1498 while passing here on his way to India before St. Francis Xavier visited Malind in 1542. The sailors, the Portuguese sailors, during a trip to India, some got sick and died of scurvy and most of them were buried here. And this place was abandoned until it uh, was abandoned as a cemetery and as a church until independence. After the Portuguese left Malind in 1593, the chapel was deserted until the British arrived in 1893. Other graves include those of Malind pioneer commander Lawford of Lawford Hotel, first Malind district commissioner J. Bell Smith, who died on September 1st, 1894 and Charles Arnold Frank Matthews, who was buried in 1968. He was the son of Canon Matthew, a pioneer tea grower in Kericho, and had gone to Malindi on a holiday when he drowned while swimming. The, the Catholic uh, worshippers do come here during uh, their festivities on Christmas. The church also has an altar with Catholic religious paraphernalia, two chairs and eight wooden benches on a cemented floor. It can accommodate 40 people seated and 50 to 60 standing. It stands on an eighth of a plot and hosts 36 graves of sailors and prominent people in the compound. All visitors, we can say all visitors who visit Malindi do come to the Portuguese chapel. Apart from the few modifications, especially on the roof, 99% of the material used here is still intact. Tobias Chanji, KTN News, Adventure Diaries. Wow.